to help assist new and young band directors. But of course, if you are an experienced band director, please feel free to share your experiences or your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, if you find value in what you're seeing or you're, you're enjoying what you're seeing, um, please, please like and subscribe and let others know about it. All right, so today's episode is how I do scales with my with my students. And I did this over uh, quarantine last year at about this time. Um, first, I have to give a little bit of credit to um, it's it's one of the one of the schools in Tullahoma, Tennessee, because I got this idea from them, um, and I kind of evolved it into my own thing. Um, so this is the scale sheet that I give my sixth graders. And all I did here, this is just a Google Doc. I've got a couple, um, you know, just images in here. Uh, these boxes right here I created um, by just using a chart in Google Docs. And then these are just screenshots from Uscore, or you could use um, Finale or Sibelius, whatever your preference is. The only text that's on this are the actual scales here. Um, of course, this is flute, so concert B-flat is still their B-flat scale. Um, if this was a clarinet, it would still say concert B-flat, and that equals their C major scale. Um, so for this, this introduces concert B-flat, concert A-flat, concert E-flat, and concert F. And what, what my students have to do is they have to go through and fill out all these boxes so they get a little bit of note recognition going. And then I explain to them how to read the key signature and the order of sharps and flats. So they actually have to go in and fill in all the flats according to the key signature or all the sharps. And then I also have them, they have to write the flats in front of the notes above as well. So they get used to start writing in accidentals. So when we say mark their music, they actually know what we're talking about. Um, the boxes that are shaded outline the arpeggio the major arpeggio, or triad, whatever you want to call it. Um, so there's a lot of information on this page uh, for my students to use. The, the octaves, or the scales that have two octaves, they are, um, for their mid-state scales, which is our version of region band, or state band, whatever whatever your, your state calls it. Um, so uh, flutes have to play their E flat scale two octaves. So I have it here. They have to play their F scale two octaves. So I have it here. Um, but for my sixth graders, they only have to learn the lower octave. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll do the higher octave at a later time. Um, they, there's four scales per year that they have to learn which is one per grading period, because we have four nine-week grading periods. So the first nine weeks, we focused on concert B-flat. Actually, no, the first nine weeks, we, we focused on concert A-flat. A-flat's always the first one that I teach, because uh, it's in the best range for all of, all of the instruments. Um, they do have to learn concert A-flat and concert D-flat, but in, in my opinion, with all my students so far, they enjoy learning the new notes, and they enjoy, you know, doing the the weird notes um now at my school fifth graders are beginners so they get one year of beginning band and then i start introducing scales full scales in sixth grade uh, in fifth grade we do something different we just do um uh, tetra chords so we just learn half scales um for their range now the way i introduce this is through a scale pyramid and I actually stole this from a choir warm-up. So we play the first note in the scale. And the way I do it is I'll say scale pyramid and whole notes. So we'll play the first note in the scale for a whole note, and then we have a whole rest after it. And then we'll play the first note, the second note, then back to the first note. Then we'll have a whole rest after it. So if, it's, if we're doing the scale pyramid and whole notes, it's got a whole rest at the end of each sequence. So I could write rest at the end. But when I do that, it messes up my, my pyramid. But just know that there's going to be a rest at the end of each one of these lines. And the reason I did this is because for like our concert B-flat scale, if our clarinets are still struggling to go over the break and we just play the full scale once up and down and that's it, they have one shot to try to get that B and C over the break. 
And for me and my clarinets, that's not very successful. And they, they just get used to not playing those. So if we do it this way, they have multiple shots to play this. Um, you know, if, if we only play the scale once and they miss three notes, they're missing a good percentage of the scale every single time. But if we play the scale pyramid, they're only losing, you know, just these few, few notes here if they are missing them. Um, so just, it helps, helps build long tones, help build um, their, their ears for what major scales are supposed to sound like. I, I really, really enjoy running this with my students. And then, you know, you can do scale pyramid and um, half notes. And then it just goes a little bit faster. They have to think a little bit faster. Or scale pyramid and quarter notes. Then they have to think even faster. Um, so there's, there's different variations you can do with that. So again, here's the sixth grade scales. Concert B flat, concert A flat, concert E flat, and concert F. For seventh grade, and once you get one of these charts figured out, it's really easy to, to manipulate the next ones because you just, you know, you highlight this and then you just bring in your other scale. So for seventh grade, we learn concert D flat, concert C, concert G, and concert D. Okay. And for middle Tennessee, between the four sixth grade scales and now these four seventh grade scales, those are the eight scales that are required for mid state band. So by, by seventh grade, by the end of seventh grade, they know all of their scales. Now the kids that are trying out for mid-state have to learn these a little bit faster, but it gets everybody ready, you know, in, in a timely fashion. Um, and again, there's still just four scales, one for each nine week grading period. Still have everything outlined the same. If there's two octaves on here, that means that scale is, is uh, uh, two octaves for their mid-state scales. <clears throat> And then for eighth grade, we finish out the last few scales. So we have concert A, concert E, concert B, concert F sharp. And then for F sharp, you know, I go into, you know, this could also be G flat. Um, and the same with B, it could be, um, not B, never mind. The other ones aren't, aren't here. But concert F sharp, you know, could also be read as concert G flat. And again, they have to go through, they have to fill all this stuff out right in the accidentals. It also helps them with reading key signatures as well, because especially in middle school, they're never going to see the key of concert B or concert F sharp, at least not in my middle school. Um, but yeah, this is the process that I do with my, with my scales for my middle schoolers. And uh, of course, with all this, we run through all of our scales together. I'm a big fan of the circle of fourths, the, the Ed Lisk um, circle of fourths sheet. Um, they also have that. So we, we do a lot of, a lot of scales in my band. Um, but I just wanted to share this, uh, feel free to, uh, to, you know, steal this and modify it as you see needed. Um, if, if you want a copy of this, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll, I'll post it or something so you guys have access to it. But this is um, the scale pyramid and my three years of scale sheets. So by the end of eighth grade, all of my uh, rising ninth graders know all 12 of their major scales. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, if you like this, please like and subscribe and uh, let your friends know about it, especially let your student teachers know about it. This is geared more towards them. But, you know, I think anybody can benefit from anything. And if uh, you have any comments on ways to improve this, please let me know in the comments below. I am, I am by no means, um, uh, you know, the master at all this. So I'm, I'm always willing to adapt and um, uh, change my teaching philosophies as well. So that is all for today. Thank you and have a good day.